Okay, here we have some pretty classic low charge numbers. Uh, 45 and a half PSIG uh, suction and 189 head. That's going to put this well below freezing. Uh, give you an idea. Okay, we would be evaporating at 23.8. Okay, uh, subcool 2.7, much too low, between 5 and 10. Superheat's what's way out of whack here. Our target superheat for this uh, wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures is 19.7. So we're pretty far off. You can put your hand here on the suction line coming out of the uh, evap and it's almost lukewarm. So uh, we're going to start adding charge to this thing. One thing I don't want to do is I don't want to add charge without knowing how much charge I'm adding. So the uh, refrigerant is on a scale and we're going to watch the scale. We're going to see how much we put in. Okay, you can see our scale is zeroed out. And we're going to start adding charge. And we're going to, this is an R22 machine. I'm going to use gas to charge this. The reason I'm using gas to charge it is number one, I can because this is a pure fluid. Number two, I can be a little more accurate uh, when I use gas because I'm not putting as much volume in as I would liquid. If this thing is way too low on charge, I'd probably use liquid in it, uh, but this, in this case, I'm going to use gas. Okay, I'm going to start adding charge by opening the low side. Now that's going to bring this pressure up to something that doesn't make any sense. If you listen close, you can hear the compressor increase its load because I, I added a bunch of gas into it. Now, I'm going to put a few ounces in and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right there and we'll take a look at how many ounces we put in. Okay, it looks like four and three quarter ounces. Now remember, this unit's been running for about 15 minutes because it does have to settle down before you can make any real sense about what these things are doing. So let's see what's happened here. Uh, we still have quite a lot of uh, superheat. The subcool, 5.7. Let that settle for a little while. I don't think we're anywhere close. Here again, you can see our uh, suction pressure well below what we want. We want it to be about the equivalent of 40 to 42 degrees uh, pressure, which would be uh, 69, 70, 71, something like that. Uh, so I don't think we're close yet. Okay, I think we're going to add a little more charge to this remember we're adding gas so we can add as we can open it up as much as we want won't harm it okay I'm gonna stop there and we'll uh, watch our superheat okay you can see we're uh, our superheat is dropping. It was 53.8 before. Uh, Subcool is 5.8. And uh, you can see we're dropping. We're going to let this settle down. Notice our uh, suction pressure has also gone up some. Are you, okay, you can see we're, uh, we're settling down at just under 50, 49.7 for the superheat and 6.7 on subcool. This unit 
tends to be a little higher than uh, some units on subcool, so we're, we're still pretty much in a normal range for this thing. Remember, we're looking for 19.7, and we're going to go ahead and add a little more charge to it, so I'll show you the scale. Okay, we're at 7.75, probably going to add about 3 ounces to it, so we're turning it on. We're going to call it good there and we'll check our super heat again. And remember, each time we do this, we're going to have, it, have to give it a little time to settle down. Okay, it looks like we're pretty well settled down. And we're going to add a little more charge. Adding charge now. Okay, we're going to go back up and see what we've dropped to. We're going to let this settle down. Okay, it appears we've settled down. We're going to go ahead and add a little more charge. Okay, we're going to check it again. Okay, looks like we're, we've added a little more charge. We're going to go back up and see what's happened to our uh, Super Eat sub cool. Now this one's taking longer and I'm giving it a little more time than I did before because we're kind of sneaking up on this. We still got a little ways to go but not that far and these things are pretty picky. When you get close to charge you can easily overcharge. Okay I want you to just note I have adjusted my target superheat because in this time uh, I've actually had a fairly big increase in temperature so I redid my target superheat and it's 22.7 and you can see we're at 25.2 and we're getting real close onto that one okay because we're getting pretty close on this superheat I'm going, going to take the liquid refrigerant out of this liquid line and I'm going to pump it out of this line and into the low side. We'll see if that's enough refrigerant to get uh, our uh, unit up to charge. Now I did this and I showed you how to do this in an earlier video and I'll reference it. But the liquid in this I can pump down. So I'm going to go ahead, I turn that valve off and then I turn off the cylinder that I'm using to add refrigerant in so it won't try to go back into it and then I'll open the low side okay you can see they're the same pressure now so I'm going to shut off both of these valves this one's not going to make any sense right now because I've got the valve shut off because I don't want liquid going back into there Okay, you can see my superheat is pretty well settled down. It's just a couple of tenths of a degree above what my target superheat would be. So just taking the refrigerant out of that liquid line was enough to give us pretty close to what we needed. Okay, looking at this, we're probably even a little bit lower than we should be, but I'm going to call that good. Well, that's Target Super Heat. These are very, very picky machines. They got to be right on the money. Okay, as a last test, we got a pretty high ambient uh, here at the indoor unit, 85.8, and we're going to check the supply uh, temperature. Okay, they go up. We have 64.7. We'll call that 65. So it was 65 to 85 and a half. So we'll call it, oh, we'll call it 21 degree split across the coil. It's about right. 